Okay, we have our inverter here, 5 kVA, and our 10 kilowatt hour battery. So, listen. so I've already connected the communication cable and put it on the first one. Once everything is done accurately, you will see this C communication. Immediately, you on the battery and the inverter. This C here will come out. Then you need to set the inverter and put it on lithium so that the whole setup will be complete you long press this button you press enter again then you look for i think she should be number what number eight see battery is on agm just enter change it to lithium this is lithium you press enter then you go back if everything is done correctly you will see lithium here yeah. li under the communication the inverter is currently at 57 percent so you can scroll for you to be sure that the inverter and the battery is communicating you will see the yeah you see uh, 57 percent and it's currently c1 because it's just a single battery if it's more than one battery it will show the numbers of battery and this battery can be six can be six in number so let's see what happens when we remove the communication cable i'm just removing it now let's see what happens You see, the communication has gone. Left with lithium because it has already been set on the inverter. So let's put it back and wait for the inverter to recognize it. See, this one self is zero and this one is zero. But once the inverter recognizes it, it will show the percentage lack of it's lack of communication that always causes your bat your inverter to be showing battery full while the batteries are not full whenever you are using lithium batteries that can communicate with the inverter make sure that the communication it has come well connected. I'm coming the communication has come so now you can just check scroll see it has shown the percentage yeah.